as y'all can see one pound of ground beef one medium onion chopped up really fine as you can and one pound you can also use two pounds of meat but I use deer sausage this is going to give it an extra kick once I get this all cut up and going I'll bring you back in man that looks good Whew, smells good too hey I don't know about y'all <laughs> but this quarantine business it sure is rough enjoy mm. ah. this cup I got from Donnie Benton it's actually got his signature on the bottom he handmade it out of copper y'all got a little homemade wine in it right now cooking on the Dutch oven on the corner in the springtime it's beautiful weather the hell it don't get no better than this boy Thank you, Donnie Benton. All right, now we got the meat good and cooked up. I didn't drain this, guys. I'm gonna leave the flavor in there. God, that smells good. Just like it is, it smells good. Okay. We're going to put about two cups beef broth in there. Oh, yeah. Look at the goodness. Then, we're going to put a whole can of pinto beans in here. That's right. Pinto beans. Stir this up real good. Oh yeah. Now that's looking fine right there. All right, next, we're going in with the maters. Dice green maters. That's right, maters. We don't say tomaters. All right. Then we're gonna go after some of these crushed maters. When they're crushed, you call them dematers. <laughs> Can y'all tell I'm, fi I'm figuring this stuff out as I go? It's pretty easy. Oh, golly, this is going to be good, guys. This looks amazing and smells. Whew, smells at least twice as good now. Now, that dematers was a uh, oh lord that was a 28 ounce can I'll put all that down in the description below that way you know exactly how to make this if you want to make it now I got some uh, light red kidney beans because you don't want me around to be around if I get the dark red kidney beans I don't even want to be around myself but I'm gonna drain these Drain the juice off of them. You're supposed to wash them. I'm just going to drain the juice off of them. Then pour them in here. And I'm going to drain a whole can of corn. A whole kernel of corn. And when I get done draining this and the beans, I'll come back and add them in. Okay, I got them drained off. You can use any kind of beans you want, but these are pinto beans. Actually, these are light, light red kidney beans. The other beans were pinto beans. And this is a whole can of corn. Now, I know you think, well, I thought you was low carb. I am kind of low carb. But every now and then, I got to have a little bit of carbs with my stuff. So that corn's going to be about the only carbs that's really in here. You know what I mean? And you can make this. And this is a 10-inch Dutch oven, guys. And it, you see why I have to drain it. Look. But it, a lot of this is going to cook off. It's going to cook off. It's going to make it really good. Oh, man, you can smell that right now. All right, I got two more ingredients. Actually, three more ingredients to add to this. 
Find you some taco seasoning. Dump the whole bag in there. Like a 1.25 ounce bag. Oh yeah. And some ranch seasoning. I know, I know. You don't think it's going to work out, but it will. You'd be surprised. And I have to thank Miss Betty. Because Miss Betty found this recipe. She told me about it. Of course, I was half listening like I always do. You know how men are. Anyways, she said, I cooked something today. And I uh, thought maybe you might like this. I was okay. Let me try it. I got me a bowl of this. Oh, my Lord. I immediately said, I've got to cook it. I mean, I've got to cook it. It's got to happen. And it's going to happen. <laughs> and you're seeing it right here, right now. Holy crap. Now I'm going to cover this up and let this cook for a little bit. Yeah, I said there was another ingredient. Well, the other ingredient comes later. Uncle Steve's shake. To tell you the truth, spicy R. Check out Uncle Steve. I'll put his link down below. Y'all gonna have to get you some of this stuff right here. I found, of all the shakes he's got, this is the best tasting shake that's gonna work really well with this right here. Oh yeah. Oh my God. He said just enough, but, well, hell, not too much. <laughs> it's spicy, I like it. All right, got some cooking to do. I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna lower the heat down and cook it real slow. Probably gonna take about an hour. Maybe, maybe 45 minutes. I'll let you know. Cause I'm doing this on the fly. I had this on a pretty high heat and I have lowered it down, but you can see it's bubbling up real nice. Just watch the heat. And keep it stirred so it don't burn on the bottom. Sure is good. Is my tongue turned purple yet? <laughs> Y'all check out old Papa Texas. Thank you for the shirt, man. I really like it. As you can tell. Really like his stuff <laughs> and his gut too. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, this stuff is going to be good. I can't wait. Mm. God, I love being locked down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve Shake, the spicy R, is the perfect thing for this meal. Just enough, but not too much, baby. Y'all check it out, and don't let your jars get below its emergency line right here. It's it's right here on the bottle. If it gets that low, then you got to call and get you some more. I have all the links down below. Thank you, Uncle Steve.
Still bubbling, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been cooking about about 30 minutes. If you ask me, if you ask me by the way it smells, it's ready. All right, everybody, let's check this out. Boy, it sure smells good, and it looks even better. Holy crap. Now, how do you eat taco soup? I mean, how do you eat taco soup? Do you put it in a taco? I mean, it's a soup. It's going to just, like, run everywhere, right? No. What I found the best way to eat taco soup is get you one of these tortilla bowls. Yeah, they're not low-carb. They're not low-carb. But, hey, you know, guys, I'm outdoors. There's stuff falling out of the trees in springtime. I might get a little extra in here. Who knows? But I'm going to put some of this in here. And this is how we're going to enjoy it. Y'all can make this at camp. You can make it at home. You know, you don't have to be on the corner to enjoy something like this. But if you was, if you was on the corner, I'd give you a big old bowl of this. I sure would. I'd say, sit down right here. Get your big old bite of this right here. <laughs> All right. Bends that nobody else is out here. Nobody else is out here. I'll go ahead and cover this. To keep all the stuff falling out of the trees. Number one, from getting in it. Number two, I need the spoon. <laughs> all right. Before I bit dig into this, I got to put a little Uncle Steve's shake on here. The spicy R. Guys, the spicy R, let me tell you, this is what's going to give it a kick. Now, I've tried this before the way it was. Miss Betty made it. But I'm putting a spicy R to it today. He said just put a little, not a lot. But y'all know me. I like it spicy. So I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to mix this up. And I'm going to try it out. Because I think this is the way you're supposed to eat it. Mm-mm. Amen. <coughs> Woo, I give it a kick, no doubt. But you know, like, we always say, we always say this, there's no meal complete without Texas Pete. <laughs> I love a little Texas Pete on just about anything. Because I like it spicy. That's why I like the spicy R. It's also hot because I just got it out of there and it was boiling a while ago. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Man, what a meal on the corner. Y'all got to try this. Y'all come on back over here where the getting's good and happiness is always, and I mean always, it's just around the corner. Thank y'all for coming by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get the notification every time I make a video and you don't miss none of these awesome videos. Because Dutch oven cooking is awesome, man. And uh, I've been doing a lot of it lately. This is one of my best, I believe. Taco soup. Cheers. Man, that's good. Sure is good. It's my turn. It's my, my, damn it, I can't even talk. Hit it.
Okay, everybody out there, I know y'all been screaming, and I guess it's in the title of the video, but, uh, oh lord, I got stuff falling down everywhere. Edit. Crap. Alright, everybody, I know you've been screaming. What's the name of this recipe? What is this stuff called? You, you keep calling a meal. Well, I'll have to tell you. This crap keeps falling on my damn dad. All that freaking maple tree. Edit. 